Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Rushdown Radio. I'm Anthony. And I'm Michael, and I am really scared. <laughs> <laughs> and today... <laughs> As you know, if you've watched the podcast in order, you guys know what this is about to oh, be. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, we are talking about the worst of 2018. Yikes. Oh. The oofs. Oh. <laughs> the yikes. We have so much to talk about. So I hope that positivity is still sitting in your chest because I'm about to snatch it. Right. Let's go. Okay. So first up, we're going to talk about the biggest losers <laughs> of 2018. <laughs> and let's be honest, this is in no particular order. Because nah. They all, they all lost. They all lost in their the, own the, way. These are some big oofs right here. Uh, so who you want to do first? Let's, let's start with the, from the beginning. All right. Activision Blizzard. So <laughs> once upon a time, there was a man named Michael, and he decided to go on the internet and find out about a game called Diablo. <laughs> And boy, oh boy, what did he find? So, first of all, <laughs> Diablo. Oh, man, the years that these people wait for a new game. Is... And they came up with another one, Diablo Immortal. Why not? Let's do it. But guess what? It's on your phones. Do you guys like to have phones? Oh, all of that was oh. Oh, the PR nightmare, which we had a whole podcast about, which you can listen to right now if you want. Let's let's forget how Destiny 2 is being monetized to hell. Okay, <laughs> let's forget how Blizzard has pretty much destroyed their esports division. Hold on, we got to talk about that, too. I mean, OK, that's we'll, we'll important. Get to, we'll get to that. That is yeah. kind of important because people's lives were kind of destroyed by that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Let's forget how they cut the single player from their latest Call of Duty and then said, you guys can't get the season pass unless you get the the deluxe edition. Yes. It's like you're paying a hundred dollars for the game. (laughs) (laughs) The scummery. People who are deeper into it than I am have some qualms about uh, (laughs) World of Warcraft. What they do with World of Warcraft? I, like I said, people who are more well versed. I mean, there's 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 rumblings that people are really divided about. Ah, uh, okay. Um, Overwatch is kind of. Eh? I'm not gonna say it's in a bad spot, but it's not it's not nearly as in, popular in the spot as it, that it was in. Oh yeah. Ah, <sighs> we'll get to Heroes in the Storm in a bit, but. Diablo Immortal. Oh, that was such a fun story to talk about. And, like, you know, you would think that they would just say, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't have done that or whatever. But no, not only did they not do that, and they still haven't told us how monetization is going to work. Oh, my God. But they then should... they were like, yeah, we're just going to keep on doing mobile stuff. Yikes. Yeah. So, you know, that thing that nobody liked. So the whole, they don't know that the monetization, they don't know how the monetization is going to work is a complete bull. There's a whole department dedicated to understanding that part of the stuff before the game even comes out. Yeah. So I don't even believe that for a second. Like well, they, we they, like to focus on making the game first, and then we go on the nah, it. Nah, y'all are exactly. How that's why we got in this mess work. in the first place. The people are like, hey, we should make a mobile game. It's cheap, and we can make a lot of money off this. So. And, it, and people are already saying it's looking like a clone of another thing that the company making this is is already made. <laughs> it's a reskin. So you know. <laughs> But then you got Heroes of the Storm, which they're pulling developers from already to make um, other games, presumably oh the mobile games that they were oh talking about. Oh, my God. About. They're going to double down their mobile division. But on top of that, they've canceled the esports division of Heroes of the Storm, presumably to make up money that Activision has lost this year. <sighs> now, can we we can park for a second with the, the, the esports part because... Oh, I was watching the Heroes of the Storm like when they first started like doing it because they did like the little college tour for it. So what are they gonna do? What are the college kids gonna do? I think they were getting like like it was going towards like tuition or something. I think I believe so. So people who are really looking forward to having that money to have like you know go to school like what are they gonna do now? The Activision's kind of just shrugging their shoulders. Wow. Now a lot of these decisions to be fair, are being made more by the Activision side than the Blizzard side because the way they have been working so far is Blizzard is Blizzard, Activision is Activision, but but now Activision is kind of like... We're Activision and you work for us, Blizzard. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, that's kind of how it's working now. And they've been kind of screwing up with everything they touch, even something as simple 
as the Spiral Reignited um, collection. How was that? Did you ever get, <sighs> did you play it? I'm sure you wanted it. I love the games, but that don't change that it's buggy sometimes. Mm. That camera is ass. <laughs> and a lot of the things that they changed, a lot of people say it changes the spirit of what the game was supposed to be. They're not wrong. There are parts in Spiral 2 that just aren't as good because of the changes they made. Mm. So, you know, a lot of the integrity, spirit, blah, 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 they kind of just tampered with. And it's just not... I feel like they kind of started strong with Spiral 1 and just kind of tapered off. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah. So, what are we going to do about Diablo? The, um, We're all going to get phones and play it. <laughs> We're all going to get phones to play this new Diablo game because you re- it's required to play <laughs> this mobile game. Do you guys not have phones? I mean... <laughs> I ain't got this shirt. This, this is not an out-of-season April Fool's joke. <laughs> this ain't that. Get I, you a phone and play this game. I need a shirt that says, do you guys not have phones? That was, oh I'm God. sure if we search on the internet, we'll find it. Yeah. But... While we search, let's move on to our next loser, <laughs> Mr. Philip Mewson. This was the most disgusting piece of trash <laughs> and <laughs> game journalism I've ever seen in my goddamn life. So first of all, uh, this all got blown up because of the Dead Cells review that IGN made. <sighs> Sounded pretty good. I actually watched it before it got pulled down. It seemed pretty good. It, uh, I'm sure it review. did. I'm sure it did sound pretty good. But then Mr. Boomstick Gaming decided he was not going to let Philip just walk away with that. And uh, he showed us a little bit of plagiarism. A little? Oh, oh, it's a little compared to how much was found overall. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, who boy. They went through it like with a fine tooth comb. There was a few Nintendo. I think almost all of his Nintendo ones. Yep, I think that in FIFA too. I think he did the FIFA one. Oh man, there was some of his videos that he had done on his own personal channel. Oh my god! By the way, you thought it was done then? No, 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 no. Because he came back and he came with the most half-assed apology, the most awful, like backhanded, slightly shady. It uh, might as well have been like, I'm sorry you were offended. It really was that. That's it, what it sounded like to me. But then after that, you would think, all right, Philip has learned his lesson. No, he's back to making videos now. Of course he is, because why and, would he? In his first one, he made a pinned comment that was pretty much like, I took a lot of time to learn some stuff and do some things. Learn some but stuff? Now I'm be- <laughs> what did you learn? I just but steal? now I'm better for it. <laughs> just because Let's get back to making videos. And who man, sometimes it's like he just he really didn't learn anything, I'm sure. I mean, what was the point of I I'm confused on his whole like okay, another part of the story that I think really was like overlooked a lot was IGN's like part in this. Yeah, IGN did I don't know no how. due diligence. They didn't do any type of like okay, if I turn in a report to any type of like if you're in college, right? If you're in college and you turn in a paper, they put it through a little system that checks it for if there's any like plagiarized stuff in it. So I know that IG has some way of doing quality assurance of like stuff people put in. Like this is their whole like livelihood as a publication. Yeah, and they, they're and they're just not doing their due diligence. They you know? did absolutely none, zero. And he had a whole bunch of like reviews that he did too that was plagiarized. Yep. I'm looking through his YouTube right now, and oh boy, every video I go through has a huge disparity of likes to dislikes. Mind you, his his editing is great, but let's see. This one he put out a week ago, 333 likes, 1.1K dislikes. Wow. Let's see what else we got here. 561 likes, 1.4K dislikes. Dang. Uh, 258 likes, 1.2K dislikes. Yikes. 435, 1.5K dislikes. And it goes on that way. One of them had the likes and dislikes completely uh, disabled. That was his uh, his comeback video, as a matter of fact. Really? Yeah, his comeback video. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. And he's doing reviews and all this stuff about the, of, of Switch games. So he hasn't left the Switch 
I guess app uh, community. We'll say switch community. <laughs> community. <laughs> but who oh boy. I just don't understand how IGN let this happen. I don't understand how he still has a career at all. Like now I am kind I'm I'm a little impressed how quick how they handled it. They were just like we not only erased that one, we erased all of his works. I mean, they had to at that point. They had to do something. Because they were pretty much sleeping on the job the whole time. Like they were like, oh, 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 he did something. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, 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 gotta fix it. (laughs) Gotta fix it. (laughs) Whoops. Whoever's the editor over there, IGN, I hope you like got something happened to you. You need to like some type of reprimanding because you were like sleeping on a job. Like your whole job's edit, which yeah, is important. And you all did none of that. No, and who who else? Like there's so many. There's so many. Like IGN is such a huge platform. There's so many people who work on just like editing and all that type of stuff. There's so many people that work as part of their whole like platform. Yet yeah, to tell me all those people just didn't do any type of work. They probably like, oh well, you know, he's cool. I believe they are the biggest gaming publication out there. Yeah, I think so. I wouldn't be surprised, but I mean, how did y'all let that slip? Yeah, it was just like integrity is just like lost. Man, if y'all look up Philip Mewson on YouTube, though, <laughs> you have to dig through so many videos before you even come to his channel. I'm surprised he even has a channel still. I'm sure. Surpri- well, well, well yeah, that he, was a lot of time on him. He he lost this year, and I don't. I hope. I, I think. I hope he like just leaves the gaming industry as a whole and just like does something different with his life. I just hope he gets us communicated or something. Yeah, something's, exactly something's happened because it's like, man, we spent quite a bit of time on him. I didn't expect us to get that deep in him. I mean, because it was so many layers to it. Because of the fact that not only just him, just like IGN as a whole, like looked like a whole like crappy company because they let that happen. I mean, it, man, they don't need much help looking crappy. I mean, Yikes! Some of their videos. <sighs> they put out a video about six characters in Smash that need to be nerfed that they had to take down because it was so bad. <laughs> Cause they don't know anything about this. That's the thing about IGN. They don't know a lot of this stuff. They're just coming from a very like honestly, IGN at this point is a big ass commercial site. Yeah, that's all it is. Like the actual like people who have actual love and like appreciation for video games is just very rare. And some people who actually do work there probably love games, but most people are just looking for a check. Yeah, and it shows in their work. Mm-hmm. But moving on, moving on from speaking of just looking for a check. Yikes! Bethesda. This is your favorite. Bethesda. Look, so where do we want to go How with this? How did you all do this? Where do you want to go with this? I feel like there's a lot we can talk about with Bethesda. Man, this year. we are starting from the announcement of <laughs> Fallout 76. <laughs> we can forget Prey and how mediocre his DLC was. Skyrim was ported again and wasn't fixed. <laughs> Why would they fix it? Um, I mean, that's really all they did bad before this. But the Fallout 76 is like <laughs> worthy of complete biggest loser of this year. Sit down, my children. <laughs> Have a listen to me. Get you a glass of like whatever your favorite drink is. Yes, just because sit back. this is a ride. <laughs> okay, so where are we going first? So we're going to start with uh, the announcements. It seemed off. First of all, we're going to start with the leaks because the Bethesda just didn't even speak on them. They really didn't. Oh man, am I really gonna not talk about? Cre- no, we're not talking about Creation Club. Creation Club, we we've talked about that already. Okay, y'all know about Creation Club. Paid mods. They tried it again. But <laughs> continuing on. So, who boy? They announced Fallout seventy six. They mm-hmm. announced there's gonna be no NPCs, and it's going to be completely people, people and robots. Okay. And the premise was interesting until people remembered that part of what made Fallout good was its NPCs. Okay. But people were skeptical. Rightfully so. So then the beta came out. The beta was so bad. <laughs> so, so bad. And the thing is, people knew that this is probably what, gonna, what the final game is going to be like because there was not enough time to fix all of that problems. Yeah. Now, there were some other things like PC players had the game delete itself off of their uh, PCs or something like they was deleting its own files. It was weird. I remember reading something about like if you downloaded the um the uh, demo, you couldn't delete it if you didn't unless you bought the game or something. Something like that. The Bethesda launcher is not very good. <laughs> um, but then the game released, and one, it wasn't fixed, and two, more and more problems emerged. Um, all sorts of bugs. How camps were moved, or somebody else made a camp on the top of it. Um, 
the VAT system, which is what made the gunplay any kind of decent, was was just terrible. Part of what made VATS good is that it slows downtown to a halt so you can aim your gun and shoot at certain parts. Okay. Which means that the gunplay did not need to be entirely great or punchy or anything like that because VATS kind of held up the gunplay. Now imagine trying to do that same thing, but it doesn't slow down. Oh. It looks as terrible as it sounds. <laughs> Yikes. A lot of people dug into the code and found a lot of Fallout seventy uh, Fallout Four's code in there, <laughs> even down to some of the same bugs that Fallout Four had. Were they copy and pasting? You better believe it, man. Even the last boss they said was, I believe they said that, that was a Skyrim boss or something. <laughs> but it was you're not, lying. I'm this not. This can't be real. I'm not. This is I am fake, not. You can look this up right now. Fake news. You can look this up right now. I can't believe this you actually happened. You can look happened. this up right now. This can't be real. We're not in this timeline where they're using old code for new games. <laughs> now, they've patched it a lot, I guess, and they tried to do things like ultra wide mode, which that didn't go well. The what the what they did was the same thing that modders did to fix ultra wide mode for certain PC players, which is stretch out the game but not <laughs> fix everything to make the you know compensate for how stretched out the game was. Okay, so question: Where are we on the timeline for this? Has the game come out already? Or the game we, is out. Game is out. Okay, game is out. out. People are testing it. People are experimenting. People are upset. Yikes! This was um, the bad everything, stuff. Everything is burning. Okay. Everything, is, <laughs> everything is burning. Um. <laughs> We we are we are just pandemonium. We are talking about all. We can't talk about every single thing that's wrong with the game. We'll be here too long. There's a long list. We're just talking about the, the big things. Yeah. Um. We're we're gonna talk about modders in a little bit, but we're, now we're gonna talk about the Adam Shop. This is important for the next part. I'm gonna talk about. Okay. Adam Shop is pretty much their paid DLC store. Okay. You get to buy skins. You get to buy uh, costumes, colors, all that stuff. Okay. Totally overpriced. Totally <laughs> insane. <laughs> Okay. How are you gonna tell this is overpriced? <laughs> Who are you? You wanna pay ten bucks to make your power armor blue? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't a real price. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I can't believe you. I can't. It's not that I don't. It's I can't. I'm All not right, allowing myself fine. to believe that's you. Fine. That's fine. Because that don't even. That, why would you? Who's doing the? So wow. now, now we're my, we're on the the next major thing that happened, which is uh, the collector's edition. Oh yeah, this people a... started to get upset about the bag situation. So what was the bad situation? Because the I... bag situation was that if you bought the power armor edition, you got a bunch of other crap. But the main thing that people cared about was the power armor helmet and the canvas. I'm on the line that part really hard. <laughs> canvas. <laughs> Bag I'm about that's to look supposed this up, to carry because I need to see how this bag's supposed to look. Go ahead. And uh, what people got instead was a cheap dollar store vinyl bag. Now, of course, people were upset and people were breaking the story out. It was it was exploding. People oh, that's were, cute. I like this bag. Yeah, but you're not gonna like the nylon one. <laughs> wait, was, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. So you were supposed to get that bag originally. Yes. And you don't get a nylon. Oh, yes. is, how did a nylon bag look? <laughs> wait, so wait a some people recorded it and it was so thin that it was almost see through. Like you could shine light through it. <laughs> Michael has seen it now. <laughs> what is that? Michael has now seen the, the, the nylon bag. What is that? Oh, no, 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 no. Michael, keep those images in mind as I can tell you. What tale. is that? Keep that image. Keep those images in mind. Oh, they're right on my phone. I gotta keep that. Oh my so God. I, I'm, I'm like racing through this because we got so much to cover. Okay. So now, Bethesda's reaction to this is, um, they, they got like apparently they got they hired some people to come in and say some stupid stuff. Uh, that's not what really happened, but apparently these were like hired outside of the company saying things like, "Yeah, we know the problem, but we're not going to do anything about it." So then they had to clean that up and say, yes, we are going to do something about it. But, but resources, they were Yikes. low on resources. They said they couldn't make the bags that they wanted to make because it was too expensive and they didn't have the resources. Hold up. Um, so they gave the good bags to the influencers I'm and stuff? I'm getting to that. Oh, oh I'm getting to that. <laughs> what is this? What so is this trash fire? <laughs> so everybody was like, they didn't have, you couldn't get canvas? There's a canvas shortage or something? <laughs> So what they decided to do instead was say, all right, so check this out. If you all bought, if you all bought the bag, if you all bought this thing, we'll give you 500 atoms. Wow. 500 atoms equates to about $5. 
There is not a whole lot you can buy in that store for $5. I just told you that it's about $10 to make your power armor blue. Imagine the things that you can do for $5. Now, of course, this pissed off people even more. And that's when they found out about the influencers that got the actually good canvas bags. Because then that other bag is cute. I, I, I want that one. Some time passes and Bethesda's like, okay, all right. Fine, we'll make the the real bags. <laughs> make the real bag. So now, so not- now they're collecting information, <laughs> and they somehow screw this up because as they were collecting information, customer service information was leaked. So now you can see people's names, addresses, phone numbers, all that stuff that they put on the receipt. What? You can now see it. It was public for like a couple hours. I That's think. too long. I'm not. I'm not completely sure about the timeline. Please don't quote me on timeline. But, but it that's was public too- for a while. That's still too long. If it's a, if it's more than an hour, it's too long. It was public for quite some time. Wow. So a lot of information got leaked. Oh, God. I don't think any... I'm not sure if anything happened. The, um, but that's the promises that credit card information was not compromised. But a lot of other information was. Okay. Phone numbers, addresses, names. That's the things that were key in that. Okay. Now, as they collect all this information, uh, we found out more stuff about the other thing that Bethesda was trying to sell, which was nuclear was nuka cola dark Mm -hmm. now when they first announced that they were selling it for 80 dollars a bottle it was supposed to be a glass bottle looks like nuka cola rocket bottle whatever blah 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 they were delaying it delaying it delaying it turns out um plot twist it was a plastic bottle with a glass bottle inside of it okay boom you got guy again wow again okay so just on that whole bag thing i'm looking at um somebody tweeted this is from at g27 status uh, he was saying that the QuakeCon 2018 bag looks awfully familiar like that than the, the, the Fallout um, um, bag they gave out to the influencers. <laughs> so they know how to do this. <laughs> but they did, oh my god. Okay. And the last thing, the last thing, this isn't the biggest thing, but this is the last thing we're going to talk about with Bethesda. Okay. They were banning people who were using mods that make the game playable. <laughs> if you use any sort of mods at all, you were getting banned. So now that sounds like that should make sense. But on top of that, they were like, if you want to get unbanned, you got to write essays as to why you should be. Stop unbanned. it. <laughs> what is this? Are we in school? <laughs> Dear Bethesda, <laughs> I want to be unbanned because. <laughs> what is this? And it better have a thesis. Wow. It better have a body. It better have a conclusion if you want to get unbanned. I don't even know what to even what I, I have skimmed over quite a few. I things. know, but that's still a lot to unpack. Yes, huh, unpack bag. <laughs> <laughs> Bethesda. That, oh, oh! Did I also mention that the, they claim that the canvas bags are going to be six months to come out? Oh, really? Six months. Wow. That nylon bag was trash. Yes. What was that? As a person who loves book bags, I am disgusted. <laughs> I am mortified, and I am appalled. So, yeah, that was a lot of Bethesda right oh, there. Oh, my God. They have quite the track record right that now. Was, they, they took an L this year. They kept taking L's. Yes. The, the, worst the part- Nuka-Cola thing was only a couple days ago. Wow. They've been taking L since the game dropped. And they didn't even have to. Some of this stuff is self-inflicted. You know what I mean? When that person puts the stick between the um in the yes. um, bike and they fall yes. over and they start saying "ow," that's really Bethesda. They could have finished this game. <laughs> finished the game. Come out with good bags. Like, oh, oh my god. Okay, I'm at the point where I'm just waiting to see what happens next. It's just gonna continue. I, I, we could have had a whole episode on Bethesda alone. <laughs> I mean, you've had Bethesda since we started this show. I mean, Bethesda ain't done nothing for me. Like, in the seven years we've been doing this, you've always had something bad to say about Bethesda. I mean, they made Doom, so I guess that's one thing they've done for me. Well, that's only, yeah, because before they didn't have Doom, so no, you were, like, not no. here for them at all. I mean, I wasn't. They suck. I kind of want this Fallout back. No lie. Like, I mean, you don't have to wait six months. Or, hopefully, one of these influencers just sells theirs. Yeah, I ate. <laughs> But, um, while Michael fawns over this bag, let's move on to our next loser. Another company I've always hated. And now, since your current job allows you to have more information about said company, you know a lot more than you did before. Apple. So Apple takes mails this year for a lot of the dumps that they've done with their phones. So, first of all, the XS, the XS Max, and the XR, they're all unnecessary. They're all stupid. <laughs> and why is that, Anthony? The XS is basically the ten. The XS Max is basically the 10 with a better screen, but a worse camera. 
the 10R is basically the 10 with a worse screen, a worse body build. A, uh, I, I can't say worse camera. It's an okay camera. Somehow it has the best battery life. And it sells for seven hundred and fifty dollars, but that's the budget option. I'm mad seven hundred is budget, but okay. Yeah, because the other phones are like a thousand dollars starting. That's a lot of money. Yeah, <laughs> mind you, these are phones of a headphone jack. Yikes! Yeah, they took it out just to resell it to you. They <laughs> they sure did. Do you know how many of those things we sell a day? I am so bad about there that. There are so many people it's like, do you guys have the headphone jack adapter? Do you have wow. the headphone jack adapter? We cannot keep a hold on those wow. things. Wow, they took it out just to make you resell it to you. Yeah, how because, you do that? Um, let's let's take a quick lesson in uh at how scummy the lightning port is. Here's here's one of the many reasons why they took it out. I mean, yes, it's it's because of the beats. No, it wasn't because of bravery, but it's the lightning <laughs> port. <laughs> the lightning port is Apple's proprietary, you know, port. Mm-hmm. So whenever a company wants to make some sort of product that they're on, be it their own lightning cable, be it their own lightning um, adapters, they have to pay Apple to use it. Okay, that makes sense. So that means Apple is making money for doing nothing because they own this port. Okay. They are making money for every company that wants to make some sort of accessory for the iPhone because they're making it for a port that is exclusively theirs. Uh, okay. So they're sitting on a gold mine with this lightning port. See, before they were making money because they would keep changing the ports. Yeah, and they would just get money. Just but then, pay. you know, Obama was kind of like, make a single port, man. <laughs> and so they still found a way to kind of just print money using that port. And I'm not sure what the percentage cut is. I'm I'm not sure at all. I don't think it's above 10%. It shouldn't be above 10%. That's still a lot of and money to still reason, get, though. And the only reason we don't know is because Apple pretty much has every company that works with them on an NDA. Of course. Of <laughs> a lot of their policies. <laughs> so we don't know how many things, how much costs what. And, of course, Apple won't tell us a lot because, you know, security, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That's why they didn't want you tickering in their phones and they make it so hard to do so. Yep. They don't want you messing with iOS. Nope. They don't want you doing a whole lot with this stuff because of security for the customer. It's all for you. <laughs> we take away things and sell it back because it's all for you. I'm mad about the lightning port. AirPods thing. suck, by the way. The, you can't tell nobody that. No, I know they can't because... <laughs> I wish you knew how many calls a day we get. Do you guys have the AirPods? 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 <laughs> Just today, we got in one pair, and we got three calls at the same time. Wow. About the AirPods. I told them each, we have a pair, but we can't hold them. So, of course, me being me, I I was looking to see who was going to get them first. <laughs> Two of them came at the same time. Wow. And... I was like, please discuss among yourselves who gets the AirPods because you both came at relatively the same time. Wow. I should have told to fight to the death. <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> the but way, the all way. this stuff, while people are Apple fanatics and stuff, that don't mean people have been buying this phone. Apple has been losing some money on this phone, man. Because it's expensive. It's not worth it. Yeah, no, it's not. Like People seven. have found more value in buying the iPhone 8, which I think is the better phone. And and then buying the the ten line. This phone shouldn't even be here. This phone has introduced the ugliest trend I've seen so far in smartphones in the notch. <laughs> that notch is atrocious. It's ugly there. It's ugly on the Pixel. It's ugly on these other phones. They already started this trend of removing the headphone jack. Yeah, which is. Ugh. I'm so glad other companies did start like riding their wave of like taking the headphone but jack there's out. There's still so many that did. <sighs> Razer being one of the more disappointing ones because I've won a Razer phone, but I also want a phone with a headphone jack. And I'm being pretty firm about that. If Me you too. don't have a headphone jack, I'm not buying your phone. Same, 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 same. I'm not doing that. Because wireless headphones suck. Thank you so much for saying that. Wireless headphones are prone to interference should they be in too many spots with uh, other Bluetooth signals. Mm -hmm. The sound is not nearly as good. Nope. And (laughs) God help you if you like rhythm games on your phone because that delay is atrocious. (laughs) Like me, I like rhythm games on my phone. Citus 2, one of my favorite games on my phone. Can hardly play it on wireless because the lag is insufferable. It makes me suck. 
Apple sucks. <clears throat> sorry. That last Apple sucks was not intentional. I'm sorry for Apple users that may be listening on Spotify. Oh, your wireless headphones, probably AirPods. <coughs> <laughs> you had a lot to say. Being a person who sells phones and stuff for a living at this point, I have had so many people <laughs> annoy me with their Apple based problems. <laughs> So I have a special hatred for Apple that I didn't have before, but now I want to see them burn. That's never going to happen. Oh, 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 oh. they still have Apple music. You right. But you don't get free, even though you have an iPhone, you don't get that free. What are you supposed to get? What? what? Free? You right. I know that. Mm -mm. Despite all the stuff you put up with with iPhone, you can't even get that for any type of like discount or anything. No, but that's fine. You got the phone. iCloud, you get five gigs. <laughs> <laughs> and you pay for more. I once told a person, why don't you just get Google Drive? You get more space and it's free. Nah, I think I just want to use Apple Drive. Why? Stupid. Oh. I've come to learn that people who like Apple are not the most privy on the smartphone market. And you know what? I've just gotten to the point where that's okay. They're the casual um, consumers. They are the casual consumers who really like social media. Yeah. I learned from my coworker that people who really like Apple really, really, really appreciate what it does for social media. And I can't take it away. But it looks like that novelty is not doing so great for because their stocks and their money is not so great this year. Yeah. Even their precious iPad Pro is not doing so I forgot great. about the iPad. Ever since the video came out showing that it folds like paper. <laughs> it took little to no force to bend that thing and make it into... I'll show you later, Michael. Okay. I it's it's pre- <sighs> It hurt me to watch it because otherwise it's pretty good tech. But they wanted to replace laptops. It ain't doing that. Nah. Never. <clears throat> nah. Not like that. <laughs> so I'm going to need iPhone to kind of do something. Because at this point, they used to be people who led the industry. Now they're kind of following trends. Or falling behind. Yeah. Because I don't think their newest phones are even on like par with like current tech right now. Some of it is. I, I mean, <sighs> I never want to compare Apple tech to the current tech because their tech is just that different. Apple tech work know, as far as their phones anyway. Okay. Like they don't they don't use stuff like the Snapdragon. They don't use stuff um like the ports that we use and stuff. The way they have their stuff set up is all Apple stuff. I mean, yeah, but a lot of the stuff they they add as new features are stuff that Android already had used. Now that's before. true. Now like, feature now as far as like universal features, they suck. They become How like, y'all just getting wireless charging? Man. <laughs> Apple people have learned that it's a gimmick by now, and y'all have never experienced it. <laughs> Why does Apple not include a fast charger? I have so many fast charging heads. I have right a lot now, now. That is stupid. I just have to, I just, we I, are swimming in them. They're and so you good. You have to buy them. Yeah. And a Type C cable. Ah, oh, for Type C. I have finally gotten to the Type C. Well, Revolution. Welcome, brother. It's okay. It took me Welcome. a while. I was because I my old phone was like still using um the micro, and I'm like, what is this Type C? I was being well, old. I'll be the old man about well, it. Welcome to the revolution. To, welcome to the the light. I think it was that and the switch being using Type C that helped. Yes, because that was just easy. How to many do. times have you ever put it in wrong? Never. 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 Ever. That alone is making it great. <laughs> wow. All right. So what's next on our list? <laughs> Squeenix. Oh, uh, they just lost so much this year. I had a whole article I do I wrote that was really well received. Well, not well received in the fact that people liked seeing them lose, but well received a lot of people read it about them losing all that money. I mean, man, let's start with the uh, the city. Woo, that trash fire! Now. I remember last year I was like scared that they weren't gonna make a DOA six because they were using Team Ninja to develop Dissidia. It looks like that's not gonna be an issue <laughs> no, <laughs> at all. No, it is not because their whole team is like, yeah, we're kind of done with that. Yeah, I think the last DLC character for Dissidia came out um this year. I don't know. I think yeah, Yuna was like the last one. I think. I don't know. 
Of course, well, you know, I, I still keep up with it. Cause... I, I, I've expressed my rage at that game already. Yeah. I had my hopes high, and they shot him we, down. We, we both did, so... It was, so it was, we don't need to sit on that, but know that it's part of this. It's region. a trash fire. Oh, they, oh no, they're coming out with a um a free version coming out next year, a free to play version of the city. Of That's NT. still pretty costly because now that costs time. <laughs> but it doesn't cost money though. But it costs me time. It costs you and every second I play that game. <laughs> I could be playing a better one. I don't know how good is this free to play version going to do. Because if they give me one v one, I'll play it. They actually do have one v one. The only problem is that the way that the game's already made is made for 3v3. So it's kind of like a waste of time because certain matches... So, it, so it's like uh, Dragon Ball's 1v1. Yeah, it's like it's weird to have matchups that obviously don't serve as 1v1 very much. So, yeah. It's kind of unfortunate. Um, Square Enix took a lot of hits when it came to money this year. Like, they didn't do very well this year and when money's concerned. Yeah, I bet it started with E3 with whole the all that conversation was uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 was coming out. I mean, that's How like many this... times did you see that trailer? <laughs> too many. <laughs> Way too many. I wish we can go through all those presentations just to keep a Kingdom Hearts tally. It was at least like three times at the very least. I think Square Enix is banking on that game to really like save them next year. It won't. I mean, it could. It isn't. It might. It will not. <laughs> So, on the track of the timeline for Screens this year of bad things that happened to them, I think the biggest thing was them losing all that money and they had to, like, close that studio, Luminous um, Productions, which they just bought, like, what, earlier this year? Yeah. They lost $33 million this year. That's a lot of money. That's not a little, that's not chump change when you ain't got a lot. No, it's not. Because they spent so much money making Final Fantasy 15, so they were trying to get that money back and they didn't get it. Nope. Which ultimately led to them having to, like, Shut down all like new content for Final Fantasy. They had a whole like season two coming out for next year, and that's all canceled except yep. for I think the Arden DLC is the last one coming out. And that's it. They're Which done. is the dangers of selling an un- uh, unfinished game, honestly. An uh, unfinished game with an unforeseeable amount of DLC for it. I mean, I thought Path Traveler did pretty good. Yeah, I didn't like it, but other people did. But who Tomb Raider? Oh, I forgot about Tomb Raider. I keep forgetting this. Where all these other companies? Forget. You didn't forget? Oh, because I remember the outrage of people who bought the original game and the deluxe edition only for that game to go on sale like two weeks later. Because it wasn't selling. No, it was not. Not at all. Like it wasn't doing. Okay, because the first. Okay, I hate to break it to people, but unfortunately, I think Tomb Raider kind of um, ran its course. Yeah, I think now people are kind of like fatigued from it, and they don't know what to do with it anymore. Like, the first Tomb Raider was pretty good. I liked it. I still haven't played it yet. I thought it was pretty good. Tomb Raider it. 2 was alright. Wasn't terrible. Wasn't great. The third one didn't make sense. Looked kind of buggy. They rushed it out. Yeah. They, I don't think it was in development for that long. Yeah, they, this is a whole it, like... Clearly. This is a whole like um Mass Effect Andromeda situation. Ooh. <laughs> so that game was destined... To, I felt like that game was destined to fail. Which one? The, um, Tomb Raider or Andromeda? Tomb Raider. Okay. Oh, we're not, I'm not talking about massive. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not talking about them until they give me a reason to talk about. Them. Wow, um, Square Enix. I think their only real success this year was Dragon Quest and Octopath. Yeah, Octopath. Yeah, I'm not like. I'm just talking about for like sales and like money. I think Octopath was their best selling game this year. Honestly, that game sold a lot. I think that Dragon Quest sold more though. Did it? I think so. I mean, did, um, because Dragon Quest sold 3.5 in like Japan alone. Oh, right. That's like oh, the you th- might be right then. Yeah, Dra- Dragon Quest was because Dragon Quest is huge in Japan. Like I think it's actually bigger than Final Fantasy in Japan right now, as far as like popularity. I could be wrong, but probably because it's better. It is better. Like that game is so so phenomenal. It's like you look at Final Fantasy 15 and how like this mangled like skeleton of a game. Then you look at Dragon Quest's fully rendered like beautiful game. It's like why did y'all just do this for the both of them? But yeah, Square Enix didn't do very well this year. Between the the between Final Fantasy 15 kind of bombing, because they didn't recoup their money, they definitely didn't. And then that studio didn't produce anything of value. And then Tomb Raider doing not doing doing well. I think they they their whole other division is just not doing good overall. It's just not a good year for Square Enix. No, it's, no, it's just not. I think they didn't really have any successes really besides Octopath and Dragon Quest, which really sucks. Yeah. Because I kind of like Square Enix, but I mean... I think they just lost, like, 
they just first of all you put too much money into high res um, realism in their games that stuff costs a lot of money and it takes a long time to develop that stuff and if you're sitting there spending like 10 years developing a game that's gonna eat away at your money every year like you're not producing any that's why and then they had to actually like rush 15 out and it didn't do as well as they wanted to I don't know, I just, Square Enix didn't do very well this year at all, and it's their own fault, honestly. Like, they brought this on themselves, to be honest. But, well, I can say that Final Fantasy fourteen and their mobile games are doing extremely well. I mean, but it's been doing extremely well. That's yeah. nothing new. That's, like, the only thing keeping them, like, afloat, honestly. Because people are really playing those mobile games, like, a lot. Yeah, I mean, Brave Exodus is pretty alright. Yeah, that- I played it for a little bit. There's yeah. that one. Then there's um the, it, the city of Omnia. Oh, that game is so good. That is a whole like 3ds port. That would be perfect on the 3ds or the Switch. Yeah, but they wouldn't continuously make money. They could. No, they could. You're right. They could make. I would buy it. I mean, if they would try. <sighs> God, that's a that needs to be ported. They can help them. Um, hopefully next year they don't they don't lose out because this year just wasn't a good year for Square Enix. Maybe Kingdom Hearts and probably the years of DLC it'll get. Years of DLC will probably save them. Probably doubtful though. All right, so that wraps up the biggest losers of this year. Yeah, that took quite a while. That did. We had a lot to say about a lot of stuff. So now let's talk about the worst things that came out this year. All right, so we went from losers to things, and Michael will kick this off. Okay, so here, check this out. So that was this movie that came out this year called Mission Impossible Fallout. Now, we don't talk a lot about movies on this um, platform, but every so often I talk about a movie that I think that's important. Why is everything called Fallout this year bad? Yikes! (laughs) Okay, so... The reason why this is really important to talk about this movie because this movie is the reason why Henry Cavill's mustache was removed in Justice League. He had to keep because he was contractually obligated to keep the mustache for his movie. I was like, cool, the movie's great that that will justify the fact that he had that weird mustache thing in Justice League. Now, I am like, what in God's name did you do? You could have not done this movie and had your must and cut your mustache for Justice League. Like everything about this movie was just like phoned in like all his things were stupid like the movie was just overall just it was just really mediocre and i'm like why would they do this like why would you sign your name onto this movie i mean i think it did pretty well at the box office though but just for me it was just like it was just it was ugh. like this was my one of my least favorite movie experiences this year and for context he really really likes this franchise i do i'm one of the few weird people out there who likes the mission impossible like franchise and i'm also a huge fan of henry cavell so i always like to see a movie he's in but this this ain't it chief i checked with all the chiefs and they all told me the same thing that this wasn't it Oop. <sighs> okay that's really short and sweet yeah because i i didn't see this movie yeah, it was, it was, you don't have to. Like, you, you can skip it. Like, I would probably suggest watching that one scene where he took his um his um clips off his um his shirt and started fighting and got bopped. But other than that, I'm like, late. so yeah. So let's move into PlayStation Classic. We knew it was gonna be a trash fire. Yeah, this week. we kind of saw this coming. Now a lot of people are like, whoa, isn't this Byron? Look, the lineup alone was garbage. We, we are. I'm not even going to talk about Crash the Spiral. They got remastered stuff. They don't want to compete. That that's just it. That's that's fine. That's actually that's a that's a you know a mature answer from them. Um, Symphony of the Night. I think it was in that same situation. Even though nobody really likes the remake or yeah. the re-release. Yeah, because it doesn't have that iconic um dialogue. So no, no, it doesn't. We ain't it, here for that. It we, sucks. We come here just for that alone, man. <laughs> if I don't get that dialogue, what am I here for? Exactly. So, what is, what is this game with a miserable pile of secrets or oh, miserable pile of ports? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, and a lot of is, and then the, I think the frame rate for a lot of games don't even run yeah, well because it's the PAL version running at sixty hertz, uh, fifty hertz as opposed to sixty. That's so stupid. Now, if nobody knows what I, I'm sure you guys have watched a lot of videos about this already, but for those who have not. Imagine Tekken 3 running at about 50 or so frames per second. Yuck. Now, that sounds kind of iffy, but try it. Just try it. Don't want and it. you'll understand. Do not want it. game that's supposed to be 60 frames, not running at 60 frames, it's pretty bad. It's like consistent stagnant lag all the time. Ugh, I love Tekken 3 with my heart and soul. I can't do 
50 or 40 or so frames per second. That just looks stupid. There are some games on here like, why? Why is Mr. Driller here? That was I, dumb. I like that game, <laughs> but that's not a game that's a staple. It's really not. That lineup was terrible. Yeah. I can go on about why is this game here? Why is that game here? I mean, he wrote a whole article about it. I did. You can definitely read. Hope y'all read that. Because <laughs> it was pretty well written about what was going on with it. And just like the hardware of it is just like. The hardware is actually the least offensive part yeah. to me. But everything else is just terrible. I don't like the controller. It looks like I'm not. I don't know. I know it's supposed to be like a replica of their PS One controller, but I don't. I'm, they didn't even use the Dual Shock one, but you got a game that needs a Dual Shock. Yeah, that was smart. <laughs> I don't care what nobody say. If you play Rainbow Six to the Dual Shock, you are a fool, <laughs> and every death that comes to you is deserved. <laughs> it's your own fault. Your Y'all, own doing. <laughs> Think it got no rumble, so the Psycho Man is fighting Metal Gear Solid One is trash. Yeah, <sighs> what were they? Not, what were they thinking with this? They weren't. I don't understand. They what were was not. The, like they, and then the price point. Let's talk about that. That thing is ninety dollars. Well, not anymore. Oh, we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> so that thing was a hundred dollars out the door, which I was not paying for. No, no one was. Nobody was buying it at that price. Not you with that trash the, lineup, man. Ugh. I think it's hackable though too, which a lot of people are probably excited about. But other than that, like there was no reason to buy to pay a hundred dollars for that thing. I think in Japan it, it just barely broke a hundred thousand dollars in, in, in sales in this first week. That's terrible. That's wow! Not- and uh, for comparison's sake, I think the Super SNES Classic. Mm-hmm. I think it broke like over three hundred thousand sales in this first week. That makes sense. I think that was in Japan. Pretty sure that's Japan sales. Point is, this thing sucks. Yeah. It's L. It didn't have to, though. It didn't. That's the thing. With all the games that they Ugh. have, Resident Evil 1, Director's Cut. Resident Evil 2. That, uh, it, you can pick a lot of Resident Evil games, honestly. You could have used the right version of Tekken 3. Yeah. The right version. I meant that. <laughs> um, Gran Turismo. Yeah. That's a Sony staple. It really is. Oh, uh, Clona. How, was, how, how are we here? How did we get a classic PS1 thing without Klonoa? Was Tumba on it? No. How not? That's one of the first, like, I think that's one of, like, the first year games that came out for uh, PS1. Now, of course, I'm a weirdo, so I want weird games on there. And that's fine, because this thing was never going to please everybody. Let's make that very clear. But they should at least have, like, ten, like, but okay, these are must-have games. They're st- right. And what this breaks down to... I'm glad I watched the video that made it break it down like this because here, here's the reality, right? This thing is a hundred dollars. That means you're paying five dollars a game. Now, the price of those games significantly increase depending on which games you are more invested in. True. So, if you don't like half of those games, the games you are interested in are now ten dollars a ROM. <laughs> don't say ROM. That's that's, that's a that's, ROM. That's mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a ROM because it's on an emulator that Sony couldn't even be bothered to make themselves. <sighs> Why do you hurt me like this? Are you trying to be stronger? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. I hurt. It's okay. Let's let's move on because I don't want to keep hurting you. Thank you. Now we're going to talk about the phone. I talked a lot about Apple. But there's a phone that did much worse than Apple could have ever done. So for people who aren't too like super into phones, who is this Red company? I'm not so Red. Right, they are a company that specializes in cameras. A lot of YouTube content creators use their products, and they make pretty good quality camera and video editing software. Okay, they are amazing at what they do as far as cameras, which is astounding. How they made a phone without their cameras in it. We'll get to that in a second. Okay. They decided they were going to come out with a phone, the Red Hydrogen One Hydro uh, Holographic Phone. Now, I I've become a phone nerd since I started doing this other this this phone selling thing, mm-hmm. and this thing is garbage. Yeah, that re- of, huh? their review is really good at that. We watched earlier. Yes, MBKHD, I believe. Yeah, whatever. His, his, he's he's a good guy, great guy. Now. First of all, this thing is $1,300. Too much. <laughs> now, even with great specs, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Apple doesn't ask for that out the door. I mean, it's still a lot of And, and what you get is the Snapdragon 835. Mind you, today's standards is the 845. 
Um, six gigs of RAM, 128 storage with uh, expandable storage, of course. You had 5.3 LCD screen, mm-hmm. which most phones today are usually OLED, much better looking. Yeah. And you get a gimmick. And a very expensive gimmick. It's holographic graphics. Yeah, you want that? Buy a 3DS. Yikes. First of all, pause. <laughs> what? You, you rude, rude for saying that. Am I wrong? <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about you being rude. I mean, say what you want. <laughs> but a 3DS is less than a, a fifth of what that phone is asking now you put for. Into con- now I don't appreciate you doing that too. Like you don't have to put into context of how much it, less it is. That's just being rude too. That's fine. I'll be I'll be rude. This is my podcast to do that. <laughs> the thing is trash. There's already something that does what it does better. And well, is it less money? Even as a phone, the thing is garbage. Yeah, that thing is aesthetically disgusting to look at. <laughs> okay. We're in the age where we want smaller bezels, and them things is huge. And yeah. for something, if you are going to have huge bezels, then you need something to compensate for that. Like the Razer phone has pretty huge bezels, also has really great speakers. This thing tried to do that. Awful. Garbage. Yikes. And it's a modular phone. For those who don't know what a modular phone is, that means you attach pieces to the phone to make it usable. <laughs> Not usable, just it enhances the experience of the usable. phone. You rude. Why are you so rude? Why are you first? Why are you loud and why are you rude? <laughs> and then how are you gonna be a camera company, make a phone, and not put your own cameras in it? Because that costs money. <laughs> this thing is already thirteen hundred dollars. It would be two thousand if they put their own camera in it, probably. <laughs> I kid you not. You know what? While you might be right, it would have been worth it at least two thousand. You saw the video. That camera, that camera was amazing. It was amazing, but two stacks? I'm just saying that thing is trash. I mean, I agree it's trash, but the fact that they... It's, t- it's like a mesh of metal and plastic and ugliness. It looks ugly. They need to fix that design for that thing. And then they're going to slap their ugly-ass logo <laughs> on the back of it, too. I don't care if this thing c- can survive as much as a Nokia phone in the lava pit. That thing is ugly. Next. <laughs> Damn, okay. Well, since we're talking about next, let's talk about <laughs> your favorite game that came out this year. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna saw, right? <laughs> I was real nice in that review. Now, if you watch that review, you'll know that I did not have a whole lot of good things to say, but I was still really nice. Michael Lee would acknowledge that I was nicer than he thought I'd be. I was very happy that he was doing that. But this ain't the place for me to this be is nice. Not, this this is... game is trash. <laughs> Now, wait, they just had a whole invitational for this game. Okay, so... So did Sailor Moon R. Uh, I'm sorry, Sailor Moon S. Sailor Moon S still has tournaments. That game has a character that has a zero death <laughs> combo with a grab at the end and an infinite, and that game, it, that game is busted. It was never meant to be competitive. Well, here we are. <laughs> Clearly, neither was this game. Wow. <laughs> and here we are competing in it. Okay, what's so bad about it? Besides right, the fact so that, first of all, the animations are jank. <laughs> that blessed curse system is awful. That blessed curse system they could have fixed. It That's really awful. It really like you can. Oh, are you playing defensively? Let's let's punish you for that and make it really hard for you to get back on the offensive. If you spam like moves offensively a lot, you get more. You get that blast stuff up oh, really quick. Recoverable health. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So we can drag this on some more? <laughs> the animations suck. Some things make things glitch. Let us not forget, as I was playing, what was his name? Caleb the Werewolf? Oh, he's just, oh. Whatever. Barkman. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, his name is Barkman. Okay? <laughs> I'm in the middle of a combo. He just freezes. They he's, fixed he's that. He's stuck. They fixed this. It shouldn't have been there. <laughs> he didn't know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, they didn't know? They didn't know. They've been developing this game for how long? Uh, it's been about two or three it's years. It's been now? a while. It has been a while. I remember I did the initial These people like people had the nerve to start talking to you, talking about uh, some. You, you all know. know what you're doing. They took the controller from your hands and made combo videos out of garbage. <laughs> Why did they bring that up? 
Because <laughs> I want you to stop defending these people who <laughs> suck. It's funny. I was talking to one of my friends, Cookie, the other day about this game, and he brought it up. And he was like, that game is terrible. It sucks. He was talking about how, like, it's just a, a boule version of uh, Killer Instinct. I'm like, wow, y'all wrong. <laughs> No, we not y'all wrong. Y'all mean. All right, I'll take mean, but we ain't wrong. Y'all won. <laughs> I mean, say what you will, man. This was like if somebody took Killer Instinct and made it in China or something. <laughs> okay. It's like Bethesda made this. Pause right quick. This is a Bethesda fighting game. It might as well be that. China can make some good bootleg. Let's not do them, well, first of when all. When we get to the next person, we're going to talk about why I said China. But <laughs> right now, we talking about bootlegs, okay? Okay. And this is a bootleg. Because it had the nerve to come out for $50. Okay, the price was a bit outrageous, I will admit, because you can get Chaos Code for cheaper. Yes, and that's <laughs> a much better game. Or the light version of... um uh, um. Fighting X Lair for like 40. And with- God forbid you play through the story and you could get through the <laughs> boring dialogue that would skip almost every time. And if you got through that, you got to look at the cutscenes that look like trash. <laughs> I wanted to support them, even though they didn't make it easy to support them. Because I went to like. No, no they didn't. I went to a few of the. Um, places that they were um, going to be at and every time I've interacted with the the developers they were really pushy and not very like nice because they want you to play this garbage game <laughs> I was like could y'all not and it's like they didn't really explain the game very well so I could understand how to play it too neither did the game <laughs> it's like unless you're on a development team or you're one of the QAs you don't know how to play this game and but hey there's an invitational for it I, I was really i was surprised that there was an invitational where actual like top players in killer instinct were there and stuff because they think that they clearly took a wrong turn <laughs> they were invited thus invitational they probably made a picture right and they saw it and they were like saber wolf look kind of weird but I don't. <laughs> he has a whole mouth beam <laughs> and tentacles yeah that was reason. weird that i didn't i didn't get that and then they got this Dr. Jekyll Hyde. Th- I don't know what he's supposed to be about. He's stupid, though. He's really big for no the reason. The only character I sort of liked who was also stupid was in Hotel. But his ugh. he's a good character in the bad game. Well, you know how I feel about Vladislav, so we don't even have to talk about it. Oh, you mean busted? <laughs> <laughs> he just got good mix-ups. No, he's busted. I looked at the tournament. He's not that busted. Oh, you looked at the tournament? Yeah. Looked at the tournament? That yes. You did? Yes. Is that what you did? I did. I watched it. I'm so sorry to hear that you wasted your time with I that. didn't waste my time. It sounds like you did. Tasty Steve was commentating, so it was fine. Tasty Steve can't save everything. You right, but he made that worthwhile to watch. I mean, ain't no clips on no high fight, so it's trash. <laughs> and high fight cover everything. They do. They high do. fight covered Sailor Moon. <laughs> And yes, I'm going to keep on making that comparison because girls twirling to become magical girls is better than a game that came out this year. When did that game come out? Um, About a month or two ago. What? No, no, no. I'm talking about the Sailor Moon oh, game. Oh, Sailor Moon game? I was like, that? they're like, that's Super Nintendo, I think. Yes. <laughs> and somehow that game is more enjoyable. Wow. Yup. I would up. rather get zero to death than play this game. <laughs> You There's guess. so many other games out there. I would go back to Resident Evil Raccoon City. Wow. Before. Yes. Yes, that's a game with Dee Laurel on this show. I would play <laughs> that again and again before I come back to this. For those who've been with us for the last seven years, um, Raccoon City is a trigger word for him. <laughs> I would play that from beginning to end. Wow. Before I come back to this game. Wow. Again. Okay. I think we've we've said enough about that. Yep. So that's that on that. <laughs> Let's move on to to our last thing, the last worst thing, or the last worst things. Soldier boy. No oh my console. god! Why? First of all, 
We knew this was bad when he said he wanted to get into gaming. We knew this was going to be bad. Okay, so I initially thought, okay, maybe he's going to like Ray J and have an actual like, you know, team of good people around him to help him. <clears throat> or like, what's his name? Chameleonaire who did pretty well in the tech space. I was assuming that's gonna happen. Like, okay, he's gonna make a million there. He's gonna make you know some cool stuff. He's gonna make some money. Soldier boy. <laughs> I, I thought he would make smart decisions. Foolish, foolish. At least with business. No, no, he did not. He... No, he instead just took a bunch of Chinese emulator ROM machines and <laughs> slapped <laughs> his image on oh, it. God. The soldier game fuse. That was just a Chinese console made back in way when that's using. Uh, console tech from like the PS3 era. Yeah, and if you <sighs> bought it, you can't even use it. It's a it's an online um console that's in Chinese. What? Yes, the fuse, the most expensive thing he was selling. If you got it in America, unless you can read perfect Chinese, you can't use it. And even if you can't read it, it can't attach to the servers that well because you're in America and it's made for China. Oh my god, I did not know that actually. All the other machines, the the pocket ones he had, uh-huh. they just run ROMs. Yeah. The rest of them literally just run ROMs. One of them comes with a Game Boy Advance looking cartridge with an SD card in it. <laughs> this can't be life. One of them looks like an Xbox One and is mostly hollow. This can't be our, our timeline. One of them shows a picture of a PS4 controller, but then you get it out and it looks like one of those controllers that you can get from like uh marshals wow and i said them specifically because you know the section <laughs> you know the section i do i do it's I, the section you skim through for like a couple seconds and realize you shouldn't be there oh god okay so we need to talk about the fact of the legality of the situation because that's oh, you really, mean the lack thereof well nintendo's coming for, coming for him soon i'm sure because there's no way that MU Paradise got shut down and they're gonna just let little old Soldier Boy go scot free. Like that's not even how that oh, works. They probably already did it because you can't even buy the consoles anymore. Yeah, it's starting. Uh but of course. When people were telling Soldier Boy that he was like, Ha ha, Nintendo ain't coming for me, I'm Soldier Boy. He had a and whole you had fans talking about Ain't nobody coming for Soldier Boy, he too gangster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you something right now. <laughs> ain't nothing more gangster than a lawyer. Really not. Especially when you got like a lot of lawyers. There's a whole legal team in Nintendo. Like I don't know why. Ain't nothing more gangster than a lawyer, my dudes. <sighs> he just really. I mean, and then okay. of course you know he was throwing around the f bomb. Yeah, was that was around, stupid. Calling people nerds. He was being like the worst type of gamer girl. G R R L. He was being the worst on the internet on um Twitter the on anyway, and then. He was pretty much reacting to a lot of the, the people who were having like criticism about his consoles, mostly the YouTube space, because they were the most vocal. And he didn't like any of that. He was not happy about it. And I was rooting for him. Because I would love seeing black people get into the you know, the tech space. Because they've been success stories like Chameleon Air and Ray J, but. Yeah. Not him, though. Not Soldier Boy, nope. Yeah. And you know what the worst part about this is? There's actually good stuff in China as far as tech is concerned. Like that that win GP two thing? Oh my god, I want one. He could have totally sold that. He could have sold that, and I probably would have bought it. Cause that thing, it because that's hard to get your hands on. It really is, and it's such a good machine. I saw my my friend, well, Cookie. Shout out to Cookie, aka um Fusong. <laughs> god, his name is hilarious, Cookie E Fusong. But yeah, he has one. I actually was uh, watching him use it. It is so good. Why didn't Soldier Boy get that? That would have been perfect. Just rescan that with you put your name on yourself for like five hundred bucks. That would have sold actually, because it's literally a small, tiny like mobile PC. Oh my god, you can play stuff on it. That would have been smart. Why did he just do that? Because that would have made sense. <sighs> None of this makes sense, Michael. <sighs> it doesn't. And now, if you go onto the Soldier Boy site, let's take a look at what you could buy on Soldier Game or Soldier Watch. Mind you, he was selling games on Soldier Watch. Dot com. <laughs> Want to put that out there? Oh my god, this is a trash fire. He had like five <sighs> consoles up there, man, and they are all garbage. Yeah, he took the work. He probably took like the cheapest, most easy to like reskin that he could and make a quick profit off of. And I like how everything was always on sale. 
There was never a time where this stuff was not on sale. <sighs> why, God, why Let's did see, you do we this? We got the Soldier Watch that's on sale from fifty dollars for twenty. Man, that's we a... got the Soldier Pods from six eighty eight six. I'm sorry, six sixty eight. There we go. We got the Soldier Watch gift card. <laughs> we got the Soldier Phone HT seventy that was. That's a hundred dollars off. Oh, oof, oof. that's a lot. We got the soldier headphones. Then we got the soldier pad. I'm gonna take a quick look at the soldier pad here. Soldier pad was that a tablet? It is a tablet. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see. We got the the standard bundle. We can add a leather cover. We can add a holster. We can add a keyboard and another keyboard oh with the case. <laughs> um, you can get it in white, black, or gold. So it ships from either China, the United States, or the Russian Federation. Why is it? Why does it have a specific place it ships from? I I don't know, but you can choose. Why would you be able to? Wow. Okay. But what you don't see here. It's soldier games. Well, of course not. They got got pulled. Oh, oh! This is this is amazing. This is such a. This is just bad. It's just so bad all around. I love it. I I don't. I don't. I want it better for him. I knew this is gonna go bad. I knew it. Cause you want bad things to happen sometimes I, no, for entertainment. No, 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 no. For entertainment, not purpose. for him. Not for him. Okay. Okay. I just knew it would because what's so and, and then he still has nothing to be talking about this esports team he's talking about oh my god now he wants to go esports because there's money there yeah he needs to make some back don't he oh my god it's just a nightmare you know dude, this episode kind of made you depressed because like Makes like this year, which is really trash. Not me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Like it's just like this year was garbage. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> like they go back and listen to the positive podcast, and you can feel better. The fact that this was twice as long to record than it was the good one says a lot. It it's speaks volumes. To say. We needed to vent. To sound or crazy. did you need to vent? <laughs> I did. Do you feel and better? I, I feel great. That's good at least. I, I'm. I. Uh, it's just, <laughs> It's just man, this episode was hard to go through. Like it was like trash fire. I, that thing with Bethesda, like I know I want to go back a quick sec with that. That bag was terrible. Like I can't believe they were trash. <laughs> like that was like complete shit. And they had the audacity to make you wait for the real one. Six months. And they got they had bags they gave to YouTube. That's another thing I want to talk about too, real quick. This whole influencer thing and bloggers and streamers and stuff, like the fact they gave them good bags and gave the people who actually paid money for them trash bags, literally, like like what <sighs> wah, wah, wah. That is, but that's to just don't know what to do with themselves. Like Okay, a question. This this is <laughs> It just it. popped up. Which one was the worst of like the special dishes between like the bag from Bethesda or the Easter eggs from Marvel Infinite? Oh, <laughs> and that's relevant because that came out this year. <laughs> it did. Oh, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it came out last year. Came out last year. But still, oh, that's hard. <laughs> Yikes! I know. I had to pose this question. It's just the perfect time. Oh man, that's hard. Oh, to man. Capcom's credit, they at least said this is a mock up. <laughs> this is what they said. But was still, a... the promotional stuff made them things look great. It did. It did look incredible. I, uh, the final product, however. Oof. The Easter eggs, man. Yikes. <laughs> oh, that's hard. Just the products? Are we talking just products? Just the products. Just the Easter eggs and the, the bag oh, that so you got. <laughs> I'm about to go with the bag. Yeah, that like a whole trash. Bag. I'm gonna have to go with the bag. <laughs> now, now that I've calmed down from that that initial shock from asking me that, <laughs> I'm gonna have to say the bag is still worse. That bag was that was offensive. Like, <laughs> like, like, how do you even do that to people? Like, oh man, this. And but that's the thought they were just gonna get away with it. <laughs> oh, and in case nobody knew how much it cost, two hundred dollars. Because I know a lot of that money went towards the making of that helmet, and that damn bag. 
Hey man, did you know there was a canvas shortage though? I mean, that's why they couldn't make it. Get canvas out of my shortage. face! Get out of my face! Get out of my face! <laughs> All right, do you have any final thoughts? I feel pretty. Good. This lengthy episode of good. you feel good. Fuck on with the sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say and that fuck the voice actors, <laughs> fuck every, yo, especially the one that goes, <laughs> fuck that one specifically. Okay, attack all that shit. Fuck them. <laughs> okay, I gotta get my. <sighs> if anyone's played Home of Sorrow, you know the announcer is really bad. Just look up something. Look it up. Just look at what? Just, right <laughs> Just look it up. She sounds like she is like, and she's also the narrator of the goddamn story. Who? I'm so sorry, whoever you are, woman, lady. You sound like you really like Evanescence, <laughs> but this ain't it. I'm gonna blame the people who did the voice directing more I, so than her. I'm gonna blame goth music. <laughs> it wasn't. I'm sure the director's like, that's it. That's the take. I'm sure that was it. I'm not going to blame her. She did what she came to do. And whatever they wanted her to do, she did it. It just sounds bad. And it's not her fault. I'm not going to blame her. She's an innocent bystander in this. All right, man. Whatever you say. <sighs> Attack. Yes. It's going to stick with us. It's going to stick with us it's, forever. It's so bad. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Um. So that wraps up 2018 for the best and worst. We got maybe through we should, it. Maybe we should have done this one first. No, I think we got the. I think this one needed the energy. Yeah, I think we were like, cause we were cool, and I was like, yeah, just kind of laid back. This one had like real like intention and focus. <sighs> I feel pretty straight. You feel good? Ready going to twenty nineteen? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. All right, guys, thanks for listening to this episode, and we will see you next time. <laughs>